His first question is how to chant the Gayatri Mantra without getting your uh, sacred thread done first, Yajna Pavit Sanskar. So the way to chant would be Om Bhur Bhuvaswaha. Tatsavitur Varenyam Bhargo Devasya Dhimahi Diyo Yona Prachodayat. What I mean by that is, yes, it's good to get the, the Sanskara done, which is a religious action. But chanting is not necessarily a religious act. It's a spiritual thing. Um, of course, it's religious as well as spiritual, but one can do it purely with a spiritual or from a spiritual dimension. If such is the case, then um, nothing else is needed. And there is no scripture that states that you, I mean, there are subscriptures, texts, commentaries that state that you cannot chant, but the core scriptures have never made any such mention that you cannot chant any particular mantra, most notably the Tatsavitur, the Savitur Gayatri mantra, without being initiated first. There is no such injunction. One can, uh, if one so wishes. And when it comes to chanting a mantra, you would only want to chant when somewhere there is the deity of the mantra calling you. You must have experienced, some of you might have experienced it in your own lives too, that everything is going fine. And then one day you find yourself hooked to a certain mantra. And that you, you, getting, you keep getting pulled towards that mantra, you want to distract yourself, you say, no, uh, maybe it's just me, maybe like an earworm, you know how sometimes you wake up with this uh, song, and you, you, you might have only heard it once in your life, but it keeps playing in your head for the next 30 minutes, 40 minutes or something. One of our uh, very sweet devotees, Wilbur, uh, sent a book recently. When he sent the book, Swami was showing me, somehow the word Dilbar came to my mind. And I started singing, Wilbur, Wilbur, Wilbur. <laughs> oh, Wilbur, Wilbur. <laughs> if he's listening, he can laugh. Now, Punjabi person will say Wilbur. Uh, like uh, my trainer, Jibin. Anybody from Punjab will not call him Jibin, they'll say Jibin. <laughs> Jibin, where are you? <laughs> so, <laughs> anyway, so, as you keep getting pulled towards a certain mantra and when that happens you can almost be certain that that particular mantra will lead you somewhere you just have to have that faith that belief in you that i am getting this mantra i'm not saying that will become your ish mantra maybe maybe not I'm not saying that will become your mantra for life, maybe, maybe not, but that mantra will lead you somewhere. It will take you to the next level or the next step. So when you get a mantra, you should chant it. So whether somebody feels, I feel like chanting the Gayatri mantra, do it. Don't wait for initiation, for any mantra for that matter whether that's uh, Shri Vidya Upasana or any of the other ten Mahavidyas or Lord Vishnu's, Lord Shiva's, any form at all. Uh, don't wait for uh, the initiation to happen. If you feel, if you are pulled towards a mantra, take it up because it could be your samskara, it could be your subconscious impressions of, of the mind that could be attracting you towards chanting that particular mantra.